Okay, so we're using for the background, uh, Burnt Umber and Burnt Sienna. So what I'm gonna do is paint Burnt Sienna, more of the Burnt Sienna next around her here, around her face and her hat and, you know, so it's not too dark. And uh, I'll darken more the areas where top right here and the bottom part right there and down here. But whatever whatever it's uh, around her face and the hat, I'm gonna keep it more on the burnt sienna uh, if possible. So this is gonna require a couple of layers. So I'm gonna start putting this and then it's really now, it looks really, you know, choppy the paint, but that's okay. After a couple of layers, it will work out very well. So right there, I'm adding right here, I'm adding more burnt umber, top part, and right around her face and her hat, I'll add, I'll go back to burnt sienna only, or burnt sienna with a bit of burnt umber. This way, um, this way it won't look too dark the background won't look too dark. Now, if by the time I'm done, if I find that it's too dark, taking away from her and it's not working well, then I can glaze the whole thing with a layer, light layer of burnt umber mixed with white or um, titanium buff. Um, that will work very well too, if I find that it's too dark. So first layer, just putting the color on, nothing much and actually I'm gonna pause and continue working and all we have to do is fill it with burnt umber and burnt sienna and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we have burnt umber, burnt sienna, a little bit of the same at the bottom, which made the chairs pop. Now I'm putting yellow ochre and I'm putting a touch of burnt sienna in the yellow ochre. So, and then I'm gonna put a bit of a detail here. That yellow will pick up the, the yellow ochre, the gold color here, pick up the colors we, we used for the purse and the jewelry. And that looks perfect. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Just a bit of color in here. She painting the background or um, putting a background in there gives it a nice depth. I let it dry and I'll put another layer with this orangey kind of yellow. I will um, go over this and meanwhile, while this is drying, I'll do the other part of that detail on this. In the purse. So for that detail, I use yellow ochre with a bit of burnt umber with the first layer. Then I got 
cadmium, yellow light, and white. A little bit of cadmium yellow light, a little bit of white with the yellow ochre and burnt umber. And I'm going to try to highlight over here this color. Again, a little bit more of the cadmium yellow light. Now I'm going to introduce a bit of white. And just leave it like that. good. Let's go back. I think this is dry. You were using yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light? Yes. And white. So yellow ochre, first yellow ochre in uh, burnt umber. To put a, a kind of a, you know, a layer over. Yeah. And then I started using yellow ochre, cadmium yellow light from this part here and up. So I kept this in the back darker. It's what looks rounder. Yeah. And then uh and then I from from yellow ochre and white. Uh, I'm sorry, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light. And then I introduced white slowly mm. to yellow, cadmium yellow light. So from dark to light slowly. Actually, her ring might can take a bit of same, a little bit of a highlight, stick white, and add it to a yellow, and then create those kind of usually strong highlights, but not too strong. You know, it's just you don't want it to be white. Um, which is, this is what's happening right now. I have to tone it down a bit. But usually you have some kind of a reflection in there.
sometimes it's a good idea to wait wait for it to dry before you, you know, add another layer. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit and go back to the background again. So another layer. dry and uh, I'll do another more until I cover completely the cafe letters in there. Okay. All right, so this painting is done. And uh, all of the details that we want to show are here. It looks quite, it looks good. And um, that's it. This painting is done. So it looks at the bottom. And that's how it looks at the top. And uh, it looks fantastic. That was a nice project.